Well, thanks very much for the, uh, for the introduction. And um, so I've, I've got the opportunity to, to respond to uh, what the Minister said. Um, got that opportunity over, over Andy Smythe, but don't feel too sorry for him. He's, uh, he's on a beach somewhere in Turkey today, uh, <laughs> rather than in cold, wet England. Um, so just, just five minutes from me, um, I, I'm, I'm responsible for, for, the education, for education skills at BT. Part of that responsibility is for our apprenticeship scheme. So you know, very concerned with, with bureaucracy, with simplification in the apprenticeship system. Um, and it's important to us because we recruit large numbers of apprentices. We recruit on average 450 to 500 uh, apprentices every year. Um, and we also use apprenticeships uh, to develop members of our existing workforce, putting many thousands of young people and uh, more mature members of the workforce through training uh, on apprenticeship programmes every year. So when given the opportunity to, to look at simplification as part of the uh, uh, employer reference group, um, you know, there, there were two major drives for us. One is that if we can drive simplification, if we can reduce bureaucracy in the system, uh, companies such as BT can do more. There's more opportunity for us to, to, to take on more apprentices and to use apprenticeships more within our, our, our existing workforce. But more importantly, because the likes of BT are already engaged in the system, more importantly, we show to those people who aren't yet engaged in the system, those large employers that aren't yet benefiting from apprenticeships and the value that apprentices bring to them, we show them the system isn't complicated and they can get engaged and, and enjoy the benefits of apprenticeships. So that was our drive for, 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 for getting involved. But, but what do we mean by simplification? I think for far too long, when we've talked about simplification in the, in the apprenticeship system, people have thought about pieces of paper, the duplication of paper and paper moving around the country. And I think we do ourselves a disservice if we simply view that simplification is about reducing paper. From our point of view, Simplification is about reducing duplication. And there's two sorts of duplication. There's duplication between organisations that are involved in the system, between the funding body, the inspection body, and their, reg and their regulators, asking for the same piece of information multiple times. And the other part of duplication is the system asking for information from large employers that we have to produce anyway as FTSE 100 or 250 companies. So those are the two parts of duplication we wanted to look at. And the other thing we wanted to look at are, is, was really making sure that whatever the system asked for from employers, whether it was data, whether it was processes, truly led to a better experience for the apprentice, truly led to ensuring that the public purse was well served and wasn't simply a number crunching exercise. So those are the things we, we looked at, and you'll have seen the, the, the outcome uh, of, of the report. And we're certainly delighted to be part of the report. Uh, we're delighted uh, to be uh, involved in the outcome payments pilot, which I think is a, is a huge step forward. And I think the Skills Funding Agency and a National Apprenticeship Service should be really congratulated on taking the step to move to looking at outcome payments for, for large employers. And we're also delighted that we, we intend to be part of the group that will really look at the action plan and ensure the action plan is delivered over the coming months, reporting back to, to, to the Minister. The key for me in this, though, is I've, I've applauded the uh, Skills Funding Agency and applauded the National Apprenticeship Service already. Real simplification and real benefit only comes when all of the organisations, all of the parties involved in the system drive towards simplification and drive towards uh, lack of bureaucracy. And that's why it's particularly good that, that, that the, the uh, Department for Business Innovation and Skills have that controlling piece to coordinate all parts of the system to make sure that they continue to drive towards simplification. So Trevor asked earlier on whether we should be optimistic, and I think the output of today is, is absolute optimism uh, from our point of view. And we truly believe that if we can see the, uh, the uh, action plan seen through to, to completion, then more employers will benefit uh, from the experience of taking on young people, and more young people will gain the benefit of being apprentices in this country.